Hey, what's going on, Z Nation? Zade here, ZSPN. And today, guys, we're going to be talking about the Los Angeles Lakers as it concerns them signing Ben McLemore. Uh, he just been signed by the Los Angeles Lakers just a couple of hours ago, according to Shams Tarania and the, the rest of the uh, uh, reports that are being out there as it concerns uh, the Lakers signing their last roster spot to Ben McLemore. Uh, guys, I have to give you guys my opinions about this because this is a very interesting move when it comes to the Lakers uh, signing Ben McLemore because there was a lot of uh, you know interest when it came to the Lakers um, going after players that could be a 3 and D type of scenario, but the Lakers went for a player who can shoot. And that's Ben McLemore. He's a guy throughout his career, uh, averaged around 36% from the three. He's a sharpshooter. So, you know, in any given night, he could give you up to three to four threes uh, a game. So he has the capability of being a good sharpshooter for the Los Angeles Lakers. And, you know, he brings a lot to the table. I mean, you know, just the shooting wise, the Lakers are lacking shooting. And due to the circumstances of KCP and Wesley Matthews and you know just the rest of the Lakers who are able to shoot uh, from the three it's been lacking and you know as somebody like a, a Ben McLemore you know he's a type of guy that you can really rely upon when it comes to shooting wise I mean he shoots like around 30 like I mentioned 36 37 percent from the three and uh, there's been a time when he averaged around 40 percent so the capabilities of him shooting those threes can really help the lakers uh, moving forward now it sort of remains to be seen if, what his position will be when it comes to rotation wise because he could be bumped maybe ahead of uh uh, Wesley Matthews possibly but you know so remains to be seen about that and and I think he needs a couple more days until he joins the Los Angeles Lakers I don't think he's going to join the Lakers right away tonight when they play against the Toronto Raptors who who are potentially you know I'm just gonna put this out there right now the Lakers could potentially win this particular game because of the injuries of the Toronto Raptors they're missing four of their top player sorry four or five four or six players from their uh from the roster due to I think injuries but I might be mistaken so uh, you know that's the last time I checked this morning because I got a notification saying so so um, so yeah that's a possibility the Lakers could potentially win this particular game but you know still may be seen don't hold on to me uh, about this but you know uh, don't hold me to it but uh, uh, hopefully uh, you know the Lakers could potentially pick up that particular win against the Toronto Raptors tonight but you know uh, this is just a good move. A good move by the Los Angeles Lakers uh, by signing Ben McLemore. He is a clutch client, so that probably played a huge role of the Lakers uh, signing uh, Ben McLemore. But, you know, uh, that's other s some people's opinions about that. But... Um, he is the same. He's drafted seventh overall, so in 2013, so the same class of KCP, uh, Dennis Schroeder. So you know, it just uh, fits the timeline. Really, he's 28 years old. Of LeBron, no, sorry, uh, no, Anthony Davis, KCP. You know, all of those guys, uh, Andre Drummond. You know, he just fits that sort of timeline. I know he signed the Lakers signed him to the rest of the season, but you never know. They if. The way if he plays very well for the Lakers this uh, this season, then possibly the Lakers could potentially uh, sign him to uh, a potential contract next season. But you know, still remains to be seen about that. And uh, you know, he he actually does just fit very well. I mean, you know, I can honestly see that happening for the Lakers. I mean, you know, he. He does play some defense, but, you know, I can honestly say he has the capability of being a solid shooter for the Los Angeles Lakers. I am loving this signee, guys. I really want to know your thoughts about it. I mean, there's just a lot of scenarios of how Laker fans are feeling when it comes to uh, this, this particular uh, signee. Uh, you know, you are getting a shooter and you are getting a guy who could play very well, give you a solid performance because last time I checked I mean when he played for the Houston Rockets I mean during the playoffs he was sensational for the Houston Rockets in the playoffs I mean he averaged around like 25 points at one time and uh, you know he 
really shows up when it comes to all said and done. I mean, you know, he really can help a team out at any given moment. And um, that's why I, I brought up his defense. But, you know, uh, he, he could surprise us, you know, with his shooting ability as well. So, um, you know, he's somebody that, you know, could be a huge help to the Lakers. Uh, it was all said and done. And I really want to know your thoughts and your opinions about the Lakers signing Ben McLemore. Uh, I know there's some people out there who wanted the Lakers to sign somebody like, uh, uh, you know, a Otter Porter Jr., which, you know, it was not going to happen because he is probably going to be remaining with the, uh, the Orlando Magics and, um, I'm probably forgetting some other names that could be a target for the Lakers. Uh, Avery Bradley, yeah, Avery Bradley was a part of that list as well that the Lakers could have uh, pursued. But, you know, he didn't get waived and he, you know, still on the uh, the Houston Rockets. So, um, you know, it's just, uh, you know, the best option for the Lakers is Ben McLemore. And he just got released uh, on, on over the weekend. So, you know, the... It's just the possibilities of him, uh, you know, being free and have the capabilities and the resume that he has to, you know, be a great shooter on a team and a great defensive player. Then, uh, I mean, you know, he just, it just kind of fits the the way that the Lakers are playing uh, this season so far when it comes to defense and it comes to you know, trying to shoot. I mean, the Lakers are still struggling shooting wise. Um, but, you know, with Ben McLemore, I think it will really help the Lakers in a huge way. And I really want to know your thoughts and your opinions, guys, in the comment section down below. Like this video, subscribe to the channel, and please give me your thoughts about the Lakers signing Ben McLemore. Do you think it's a good move? Do you think it's a bad move? Do you think that, you know, there's some uh, issues when it comes to, you know, his ability to. Uh, you know, possibly be, uh, you know, help out the Lakers? Or do you think this is just an awesome move because of his shooting, his defense? I mean, there's a lot of scenarios. He could be a playmaker, if you, all I know, because I, I believe he's a, I might be mistaken. I think he is a shooting guard. I might be mistaken. I think he's probably a forward, but I might be mistaken about that. But, you know, uh, we have to see in the next couple of days what he's made of. I really can't wait to see him, uh, you know, bring on this shooting ability that sharpshooter that he is uh to the los angeles lakers and uh you know it's just going to be very fun to watch what he brings to the table for the los angeles lakers and then when it comes to playoff time because he has the capability to score i mean because last time i checked his uh his stat line when it comes to you know um you know playing a few games here and there he did average like 25 points back to back at, with the Houston Rockets last year so uh, you know he has the capability of you know putting up big numbers so you know if he brings that to the Lakers uh, it will be very awesome to see him bring that to the Los Angeles Lakers and I just really can't wait to see him perform to the best of his ability on the Los Angeles Lakers and also going into the playoffs and by the time Anthony Davis LeBron and possibly uh you know very soon with uh, andre drummond returns to the los angeles lakers uh it still remains to be seen about the rotation wise i think he'll be uh boosted up uh when it comes to uh, position wise ahead of wesley matthews but uh you know still remains to be seen about that particular predicament so uh guys please comment down below like subscribe to the channel and i'll see you all in the next video thank you so much for watching go lakers Take it easy, guys. Stay safe out there.